Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission, surveying the score. We'll get ready for the big heist. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5 as we look at the Grand Theft Auto mission, surveying the score. And don't forget to hang about until the end for our bonus tips on how to get through this one first time. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one is fairly challenging, especially considering the fancy flying involved. So to get gold, we'll need to avoid being warned about distance, fly under the bridge, fly through the tunnel, Find the construction site quickly and complete the whole mission in less than 11 minutes flat. As usual, we're on a timeline, so let's skip the cutscene and dive right in. And uh, into the car and follow the GPS. So it's important to keep an ear out here, lest it gives you a full briefing on what's going down and what we need to do. So we'll just hang it right here. And you can see the waypoint there up on the left. So up the bridge, don't go underneath it. Round to the left, and there's the marker. Excellent. Okay, and then off to the next part. Back down the bridge, do a quick U-turn, and then uh, left again and head towards the next waypoint there on the left. Skip that one. And always the charmer. There we go. All right, so Lester is with Trevor. We'll jump back in the truck without bumping into too many things. We'll head over to the airfield. So really here, it is just a case of following the GPS. Off the highway exit ramp, hang a left. Right now we want to save every second we can here. Up we go, into the chopper, wait for Lester to catch up, but in the meantime we can fire it up. Lester's in, and off we go. Now gain enough altitude to clear some obstacles, but um, don't worry about gaining too much, we're just going to come back down afterwards, so just absolutely flat out. Okay, so we can see the marker there starting to flash. Swap out to the cinema view there so we can see the trucks. And now what we need to do is stay with the trucks, but don't get too close. We also want to stay quite low because we do have some obstacles to go through or under as well. So when they uh, stop at the lights, just remember to hold back. Don't go too close. There we go. And they're off again. So it is a handy trick to stay here in cinematic mode as well, rather than using the regular visual mode for the chopper. All right, so here's one of the gold medal things. We just need to go underneath this bridge. There we go. Up again and around to the left, and you can just see them duck behind the right hand side there around that building. So we'll just bring it around again, remembering to hold right back. Okay, so they're heading underneath the building there. All right, this is not going to be graceful, but we do need to get in and under the tunnel there without being detected, and that is a cracker. Good thing these choppers are hardy. Okay, so that's through. Quick cutscene again, which we will skip as soon as we can. There we go. Now we need to get to the construction site. We have not got a lot of time here, so... Right, there it is, so just drop right on down. You can get quite close there, that's fine. 
Okay, so we'll be prompted to swap back. But we don't necessarily have to, so I think it's probably easier and, if I'm honest, it's going to be quicker just to head back in the chopper. Alright, watch out for the prison there. They get very upset if you fly over the top of that. Alright, so there's the airfield. Just hang around to the right there so that we can find the marker. And uh, bring it down. Now near enough is good enough. You don't have to be right on top of the marker with this, but uh, we should be right there. Excellent. So Lester will pop out of the chopper, and uh, I think there's a cutscene here we might be able to skip. There we go. How we go there? Okay. So 17 seconds to find the hole in the ground, and all of the other ones sorted out with about uh, 47 seconds to spare by the look of it, so not too bad. So thanks for hanging about until the end. Here are my top tips on how to get through this one first time. Be sure to take some time to practice with the chopper beforehand. Make sure you're good with the helicopter's dimensions and handling. And don't be afraid to drop right down over the construction site. If you fly too high, Lester won't be able to see. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the next storyline mission, or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.